In today's tutorial, uh, I'm going to be showing you a very basic approach of how best to utilize automation through the New Zenla platform. Now, I tend to come from a school of thought for building relationships online, typically through email. Um, the best approach is often to do live email blasts. Um, it's real time and it's a relatable approach for your students to get to know you. Okay. However, having said that, when you're launching uh, lessons or, or courses, to take an automated approach is the most sensible route by far. Okay. So what I've done uh, is I've set up a dummy course and a dummy course is called Learn Some Yoga. Now right away, uh, New Zenla gives you the option to um, disable or enable an instant email from New Zenla to confirm it. So by going to site and then on left hand side site settings and under notification status, you can either enable for that email to go directly out. It's a system generated welcome email or you could disable it. Now, for me personally, I would disable it, okay, because I want as much communication to be coming from myself. So when going back to my course under Learn Some Yoga and the automation and then edit the automation rules, um, within your courses section and also within your funnels, um, we uh, have set up uh, preloaded three copy templates for you, okay? So we have two within the enroll email sequence and we have one within the course completion sequence. Okay, so three automatically um, copy templates have already been generated for you. Now here you see the add rules. Now you have your options of en on enroll, on course complete, and on lesson complete. Okay, so we have a rule and we have the actions. Now just to highlight over the question mark, a rule is a combination of one trigger and different actions, okay? So as it is at the moment, we've got on enroll and on course completion. So if I wanted to add on lesson complete, then that would give me an entirely new rule, okay, which would then send out an automated email once they've completed a lesson. Now if we go into the uh, enroll email sequence, uh, I should say that, then automatically, like I've said, I've got two emails that I've been, or two copy templates that I've got access to. So here, straight away, we've got the delay timer. So what will happen is I, I would typically go straight away. So as soon as somebody enrolls, I want that confirmation email to give them access, or as it says here, the access instructions email to be sent directly to them. Now you could delay it by minutes or even hours or even days if you wanted to. Why you would, I wouldn't necessarily know, but I would do it instantly. And then below, it's all pretty self-explanatory, the stuff up here. Below, we've got the options here. It's a copy template, and it gives you a bit of a uh, to-do list here to then delete. But within the body of an email, it gives you uh, an overall, uh, like I say, copy template that I would, I would personally personalize to my own personality, okay? So I want them to get to know me. So you have the options here of adding all of these kind of merger tags where you can add the full name, you can the course access URL, so you can, you can in include these in the body of the um, email, which will then be hyperlinked to take them directly to the course. Um, but this is the first step in allowing them to get to know you, okay? You've also got the tagging and filtering at the bottom, so you can add different filter groups and tags. And up here under the actions, you've got the option of adding more mails. Okay, so this is really important during, certainly in my perspective, certainly through the first couple of weeks, course completion um, can be pretty tough. So having a, a kind of a, a trickle of emails over a period of time, reminding them to get back into the course and completing it, I would imagine as being really, really important. So thereby sending, send, sending mails, it gives you the options of adding more mails into the automated sequence. You've also got ways of adding tags and removing tags. So if you're wanting to add a tag to something specific, so if they're going through the user experience and you want to add a tag, for instance, you can then come back to that tag at a later stage um, and you can delay it. So on the fifth day, um, they will then get some sort of tag which would be generated. Um, so that kind of covers the actions and the rules. The course completion, Again, this will be uh, auto-generated and you can personalize it for when they have completed the course. This is a perfect example for you to be offering 
um, some sort of upsell um, and maybe, um, yeah, some sort of upsell, trying to take them into maybe further courses or uh, maybe uh, future calls or, or webinars or conversations. Um, but again, the automated email sequence is just a great way for you to tap in straight away, get that engagement, really kind of nail down on that retention and do whatever you can to get them to complete those courses. Now, really, the last thing that I wanted to cover was regarding the drip sequence. Now, the drip sequence just here um, allows you to set up um, emails that can notify your students once they've unlocked certain parts of your courses, uh, which, again, can be really, really powerful with regards to retention um, and, and building that relationship and, again, ultimately getting them to complete the course. So again, I hope that gives you a bit more of an insight into the power behind automated um, emails. Um, and again, you can add as many emails as you want within the three different um, uh, rules and rules of thumb. You can add tags, you can remove tags, you can personalize it. Um, it's a really, really powerful resource.